Hi, my name is Adrian Cowan. I am 23 years old, and I am the vocalist of Sasha Payet's Masters of Ceremony. He called me and asked if I wanted to sing in his band, and like, yes. <laughs> it took me uh, three seconds. Before I was a professional musician, I was a full-time music student for six years. Um, I attended Berkeley and I attended um, the Academy of Contemporary Music. Um, and that whole time I was gigging with, you know, like Baby's First Band and stuff like this. I never really had another job. <laughs> I've always kind of been um, a singer and now I'm also a keyboardist and I'm trying to be a violinist. One of these days maybe I'll be not terrible. If I were to pursue any of the other things that I was interested in, I probably would have ended up as either an author or a scientist, um, maybe an astrophysicist, an astronaut, or um, a paleontologist. <laughs> but yeah, I never really had uh, any other kind of occupation. This was all I wanted. To somebody who is just beginning the, their musical journey, I would say find the thing that you were naturally good at. This is what my, my grandfather told me. Uh, find what you really are good at and really like to do and be the best at it. Um, and that's what I'm trying to do and I guess it's kind of working so I would suggest the same maybe. <laughs> In regards to the six years of full-time study, I guess it's not for everyone. Um, I actually hate school. <laughs> I hate school. So um, it was really not a happy time for me but um, I would not be even a fraction of what I am now had I not attended and I would not have met the people who are exactly like me but on different instruments. I was actually ready to just leave everything but I didn't leave school uh, because um, I attended a festival um, called Prague Power in 2015 and um, at that point I was very burned out on everything. I was burned out on melodies and happy music and I was kind of only listening to like atmospheric black metal and like some really gray like melodic death metal stuff so I was not I was not a happy person um, and I went to this festival and um, I mean you know how like power metal anthems can be that's so uplifting and the frontmen of like all of the bands were it reminded me of everything that I wanted to be before I got to school so then I went back to Boston where I was studying and I wrote another album because I was so emotionally moved. Um, and then all the classes that I took after that were about how to make this album that I wrote with my band better, um, more accessible, um, seen by more people. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how I got through it. <laughs> there is a lot that you can learn on your own and it also was super frustrating because there was not really a path that I could take when I was at the school that would teach me exactly what I wanted to know, which was how to be a symphonic metal artist. Um, <laughs> so I um, took all the orchestration classes that I could and I took some songwriting classes and um, some music business classes. And if you ever were thinking of going to music school or at least studying something, I would really recommend business above all because they, they, um, the information that you can get on how to build a career as a, um, a freelance artist or um, like how to market yourself or how to um, you know work on your online presence or just anything like us or how to read contracts or how to um, just even understand how the industry works and also how to uh, manage time and how to figure out what you don't want. This was one of the most valuable things that I learned. I am very active on the internet, um, particularly on Instagram. Uh, and I try to post to Facebook pretty often and I have some videos on YouTube, but I think um, the internet now is more important than it ever was for artists because um, it allows us to connect with people that um, support us and care about our art, um, which is something that we haven't really been able to do before. And all of my teachers always said, consistent content is so important and I have found that to be true. Um, I've gotten gigs from posting videos of me playing piano <laughs> on Instagram. I've gotten really cool collaborations. I sang with some of my favorite uh, vocalists because of 
posting to the internet. For me, even like if I see, oh, Shagrath, for example, posted something on his Instagram and it's like him and one of his daughters, like I, I see that and I'm like, oh my God, this is adorable. Like it's just another human, I'm just a human. So it, it's uh, kind of a cool way to connect on just a more personal level. It's important and I would totally recommend that uh, any artist should do this. Thank you.